Greetings, it's Kwame Nakanadu, but some of you may know me as Jay Golding. In today's video, I'm picking up where I left off in my previous video, the burnt umber wash and first layer, by starting with the background. Now, in this video, I'm using a mixture of quinacridone magenta, it's a color I really just picked up recently, to be honest, and I'm in love with it. Um, so I'm using a mixture of quinacridone magenta and prism violet for the background. And I'm just gonna start as I did in my previous video with just a wash, a light wash, water, and just pigment to build up the layers and just keep it steady and keep it going. And so I'm doing a majority of this wash with um, the Filbert brush, one of my personal favorites, just for whether you're building up a painting from the wash and just doing glazes or even if you just want to block in, block in simple shapes and pigment. And then I'm also using the round brush to, which is much smaller than the filbert. So it allows me to still get that range and um, fill in and block in certain shapes like the mask, which is more rounded and even get little curves and, and rounded edges of the shoulders or whatever else I need to paint, but I can also still use it to do straight lines if I decide to. So both of these brushes are pretty dynamic in that sense. As you can see, I'm doing some small detail work on the mask, um, getting slight shadows in there, mid-tones as well, just to separate the light that's hitting the right side of the mask to the sense of shadow that you see on the left side of the mask. This is a smaller round brush than the one I was just using to start off the blocking of the mask, but they're both round brushes. And this one allows me to get very fine details, such as the lines that are in the mask as well, the little shapes that imply an eyebrow type of shape. And now as I tackle the pants area, I'm using a mixture of a few colors. Um, the prism violet is one of them because one of the main things I'm doing here is taking the colors that are in the background, such as the quinacridone magenta and the prism violet and painting them into um, everything that I paint, whether it's the skin, whether it's the shirt, whether it's the pants, the mask, um, you see that some of that purple that's in the mask that I painted for the shadow that gives everything a sense of cohesion. But yeah, as I paint the pants, um, I'm using some of that prism violet. I'm also using some burnt umber mixed into it. Um, a little bit of blue for the side of the pants where you can see a little bit of the light hitting the pants because the character is wearing jeans pants. As I go into the skin, I'm using a mixture of burnt umber, burnt sienna, and some of that prism violet, and white in certain areas, but still keeping true to the background, painting into the overall image. So even some of that magenta is going into the skin as well. And I'm sticking with the round brush, you know, the small round brush here, um, especially for the fingers, since they're rounded, it's easier to really um, fill in and blocking those tones, those darker tones that you can see. There's, there's parts of the arm and fingers and hand that is dark in certain areas, and then there's like a mid-tone to a slight highlight on the forearm area. But yeah, just keeping that range, making sure that all the colors and tones are uniform to keep that cohesion. Um, I'm, I'm stressing that a lot in this painting because that's very much so important to making all of this have a sense of harmony. And now I'm just putting the finishing touches on the fingers. Um, I'm using mainly burnt umber, but there's a little bit of the prism violet 
and the ivory dark mixed into it. And as you can see, the figure has a green wristband. So for this, I used mainly just um, emerald green. I also put a little bit of the prism violet into it um, where it needs to be dark. And for the shirt, I'm using the Naples yellow and a mixture of that burnt umber and hints of purple where I need to to um, get that full effect of cohesion, as I said before. Another thing to add with the shirt is that I also put a little bit of that emerald green into the mixture um, of Naples yellow and burnt umber just to um, liven it up a little bit. I don't know, there's something about green that um, when you mix it with yellow or even with red, it gives it gives it such a, a I'm not even I can't even think of the words but it just it gives it a certain feeling that is just beautiful and now I'll begin to add some highlights to the shirt by using uh, lemon yellow um, mixed with some white in certain areas just to bring the value up a little bit and at this point I'm just really going full force in the detail with the shirt, as you can see. Um, I'm doing mid-tones, I'm doing lines and shadows, I'm also doing hints of highlights as I just mentioned before. Um, in addition to the burnt umber being implemented into the Naples yellow and lemon yellow mixture, I also have hints of burnt sienna just you know slightly just to give it a smooth transition from um light to middle ground to dark so it's like a the burnt sienna is a perfect middle ground between the highlight area and the dark area which would be where i put most of the burnt umber and now i'm beginning to layer more of that prism violet on top of the quinacridone magenta that I've laid down in the first background wash. Um, and as I build them up, I'm not using one more than the other. I'm more so doing a mixture of the violet and the magenta um, and adding some white in the mix whenever I feel like I need to have some values pop up And notice that during this process of building on top of the background and just adding layers on top of layers, that I'm also doing little dabs. And this is where the filbert brush um, just really comes in handy for me. Um, so I'm taking the filbert brush in a certain areas you can see where I'm dabbing um, also, almost like um, painting clouds, if you notice in certain areas um it's not necessarily supposed to be clouds um but it could be um i'm doing this just to give that idea of just texture um but you know as i'm saying clouds it's because it reads that way to me and i'm sure that to a lot of you watching it would read the same way to you and now back to the pants um I'm really just reinforcing what I did earlier in the process by going over it entirely in ivory dark. So that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching and thank you for all the support I've been getting over these past several videos I've been putting out. Um, you guys are amazing. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, share, 
hit the notification bell to get updates on any videos I have coming up. Um, see you later. Peace.